I think appearance in our world is important. Almost everything in life is affected by our appearance. And I think it's okay to have the belief that appearance is important and for us to focus on appearance. This is her from the front. You know, a nice smile. I know this tooth really doesn't, it kind of bothers us a little bit, so we can talk about the options and how we can help you with that. The first step for me is to create an environment in the clinic. This is a very privileged environment, and we're gonna talk about appearance in ways that you wouldn't at home or at school. What's their childhood gonna look like? What's the future gonna look like for this child? Allowing somebody that freedom, to be honest, is a big part of, I think, doing my job. It's a kid-friendly place. They make the kids and the parents feel safe, almost like a guardian. It's really nice to get to talk families through what to expect. Helping parents understand the transition to school, if there are any learning difficulties their child might be having as a result of their craniofacial condition. So you guys don't know anything, which is where a lot of families are when they come in. They don't know yeah. what to expect. Okay. It's important to have a psychologist on a team for a couple of reasons. First is that we get to educate families about the emotional experience of having a child with a craniofacial condition. So when they come to see their multidisciplinary team, we assess growth and development, school functioning, emotional and behavioral functioning, social functioning, and that gives us a good chance to check in and see what's new. And any trouble at school this year, like detention or suspension? Oh no, I'm not that kind of kid. Not that kind of kid. If they're really struggling with anxiety, depression, adjustment, uh, fear of an upcoming surgery, for instance, we might meet with them on a weekly or bi-weekly basis to help them get through that and to explain the procedures in an age-appropriate way so that the kids can really understand and become a partner in their treatment. Some kids that go through hard times, they go to Dr. Lynn McGee and she mainly helps them get through it. We can help families think about themselves as parents, as community members, and as role models for their children, which can often mean helping them have the space to uh, express anxiety, fear, and grief that can come with a diagnosis. It doesn't matter who I meet here at CHOP, and it doesn't matter what the day is like. Somebody is, you know, there holding your hand, asking you what you need. Yeah, it is safe. It is a safe and reassuring place. And we feel normal here. These are healthy, normal kids who are growing and developing and having all the same milestones. Sometimes they're a little delayed, but they get there. And we want our families to be able to celebrate all of that stuff that comes along with having a child. One of the programs we have, for example, is our fall cleft and craniofacial picnic where all the kids get together here right on the CHOP campus. And I think it's great for the kids because it shows them, hey, you know, I have a deformity in my eye, but so does that kid. I'm not alone, you know? We have the opportunity to help families see beyond their child's diagnosis, and that allows that kid then to thrive. 